So, in this session we will learn how to extract the metals that are at the top of the reactivity series, top of the reactivity series. The metals like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium, they are considered as highly reactive metal and they are placed at the top of the reactivity series. Next, they are available as halides. In the combined state, they are available as the halides. They are also available in the form of oxides also. But the oxides are more stable, it is not possible. Okay. So, then what we are doing? We are extracting these metals. We are reducing these metals from the combined state of metal halides. They are available in the combined state as the metal halides. For example, you take the case of sodium, the metal sodium. So, it is available as NaCl in the combined state. You take the case of potassium. It is available as potassium chloride as the halides. You take the case of magnesium. It is available as the magnesium chloride. Are you clear about that one? So, what we are doing? We are reducing the metal halides. We are reducing the metal halides to metals, to molten metals by a process known as electrolytic reduction. What is that? Electrolytic reductions. So, metals like like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium are available in the combined state in the combined state as halides and oxides. These metals are reduced are reduced by a process known as electrolytic reduction electrolytic reduction electrolytic reduction by sending by sending electric current from the solutions of from the molten solutions of molten or fused solutions of their halides their halides so they are reduced to metals by a process known as electrolytic reduction electrolytic reduction is a process of electrolysis is a process of electrolysis in which we are sending the electric current through the molten solution or the fusion solution molten solution or the fusion solution of metal halides metal halides in this process what we are doing we are taking an electrolytic part in which we are taking the fused solutions or molten solutions and we are inserting two electrodes
we are inserting two electrodes this is anode and this one is cathode when current passes through the fused solutions of these metal halides what are the reactions that are taking place means at cathode for example i have taken sodium chloride solution let us assume nacl fused solution or molten form nacl is taken in molten form so what happens at cathode na gains one electron and deposited as the metal pure metal at the cathode here at the cathode sodium is deposited sodium metal is deposited at the cathode okay in the same manner if you take a magnesium magnesium chloride first it decomposes to mg plus 2 plus 2 cl minus this magnesium at the cathode it receives two electrons and is deposited as a magnesium metal pure magnesium metal no need to write a single one as the example first you try to understand the concept okay so metals in the reactivity series high reactivity series are reduced to molten metals by the electrolysis of fused solutions okay this process is known as what we call it a electrolytic reduction in this what we are doing we are taking the molten solution or fused solution of concerned metal halides and we are inserting two metal electrodes okay two metal electrodes when current passes through the solution first it decomposes to ions it decomposes to ions for example if you take sodium chloride it decomposes to na plus and cl minus if you take magnesium chloride it decomposes to magnesium ion and chloride ion so this magnesium or metal ions receives the electrons that is a concept magnesium or whatever the metal may be it receives the electron at the cathode and is deposited on the cathode in the pure form in the pure form so that's why reduction what is the definition i have given when addition of electrons okay here electrons are added at cathode to the metal do you understand the concept electrons are added so addition of electrons is also considered as reduction okay this is the way how to reduce the metals that are in the top of the reactivity series are you clear now you make a note of all. extraction of metals metals at the bottom of the series at the bottom of reactivity series As you know that few metals, mercury, next silver, platinum, gold, these are available in native state. Okay, these oxides, these oxides are reduced by heating. Simply by heating, they are reduced to metals. Are you clear? For example, you take the case of mercury, mercuric oxide. Now, when you heat this mercuric oxide, it gives mercury in the molten form and oxygen is liberated. Are clear? So, 
extraction of metals at the bottom of the series see this one these metals are simply obtained to molten form on heating on heating their metal oxides here what happened oxygen is removed so it is reduction it is reduction so these metal oxides are reduced on heating are you clear second one is by the displacement of by the displacement of metals from their aqueous solutions from their aqueous solutions make a note of this first first one is metals at the bottom of the reactivity series are reduced by heating their oxides the second one is by the displacement of metals from their aqueous solutions here is an example you take the case of silver sulfide okay when it is dissolved in the aqueous solution of potassium cyanide kc and it is very very dangerous as soon as you touch it you will die are you clear it is so dangerous are you clear about that one so potassium cyanide next silver sulfide is dissolved in aqueous solution of potassium cyanide to get dicyano argentate ion this is dicyano how many cyanides are there two dicyano silver argentate see this one dicyano argentate ion dicyano argentate ion next one when this dicyano argentate ion is treated with zinc dust you treated with zinc dust you will get silver as precipitate silver as precipitate now silver is separated silver is separated you will get silver metal are you clear about that one so this is the way how to reduce the metals at the bottom of the reactivity series first one is the on heating on heating second one by the displacement of metals from their aqueous solutions here the example is what is that you are precipitating silver from silver sulfide from silver sulfide so when silver sulfide is treated with aqueous solution of potassium cyanide you will get dicyano argentate ion when this dicyano argentate ion is treated with zinc dust okay you will get silver as a precipitate silver as a precipitate so these are the ways how to get or how to reduce metal oxides to molten metal are you clear in our next session we will learn how to refine the metals okay up to this stage you got you got metals in the crude form in the crude form are you clear about that one they also contain impurities they also contain impurities so you have to refine them you have to refine them so 100 percent pure metal how to up extract 100 percent pure metal how to get 100 percent pure metal this process is known as refining okay there are four methods of refining the metal okay four methods are there are you clear about that one first one is the distillation second one is the liquidation what is that distillation and liquidation next one electrolytic refining we will discuss all these things in our next session okay now you make a note of it